Sheila Nyaboke is a shocked mother after a stranger disappeared with her child. The suspect is believed to have abducted the child at Kisi Town's bus park while on transit from Nakuru to Nyamarambe. Police immediately launched investigations and have surfaced with good news as the seven-month-old child has been found in good health in Yamira County. Police pounced on the kidnapping suspect Naomi Bosibori Onsari, aged 25, after a tip-off from members of the public and is currently in police custody. Mimi nilikuwa ninalia asubuhi nikasikia mamangu akipigiwa simu. Eti mtoto amepatikana ako station police kisi. Sasa nikakuwa nikifurahi mwaka huu aliweza kupoteza mtoto wake. Na akiwa nyumbani kwa na wakamzika. Mume wake hakumpea amani akamwambia mpaka anayetaka mtoto. Na hiyo ndio ilipo sababisha ye kwenda kuiba mtoto na kumleta nyumbani elsewhere riru becomes the first municipality in kiambu county to get a bypass erected courtesy of the kenyan urban support program the 1.5 kilometers wataalam bypass connects kiambu riru road to eastern bypass and will ease traffic from vehicles entering riru town from kiambu and eastern bypass ni barabara yenye itatusaidia kufungua en, maeneo zetu e, ni barabara ya 1.5 km zenye inashika kutoka njia ina, inaenda Kiambu kutoka Ruiru na inashika pande ya bypass A couple in Naivasha town is counting its blessings on Mother's Day after they were blessed with quadruplets 2 years after losing their two minors to health complications According to the children's father, Ezekiel Karuri, the birth of the children was the best gift ever for the family that was trying to come to terms with the loss of their two children in a span of two years. Kitu ya kushukuru mungu kwa kuwa ametutendea mema. Sisi tuko less of words kusema ya kwamba mungu anaweza. Kwa wengine ambao wakona shida kama sisi, jiu tumepitia mashida mingi, kuruzi watoto, Si mmoja si wawili si kitu raisi lakini kuna Mungu ambaye ametusi And residents of Choka in the city's Kayole area are crying foul following illegal quarry operations on a piece of land meant for public utilities they allege that the miners are working in cahoots with influential persons and that their activities have led to the degradation of their roads as well as an increase in insecurity. Hao watu wanachimba hii barabara ni kama ni haja yao ni hii maram. Wanatukambia ati ni barabara wanatengeneza kumbe ni maram ndio wako na haja nayo. Lakini kumeingia vijana guns wamekuja na matinga wameanza kuchimba wakiuza maram hii maram kila siku rori moja ni shilingi ya rosita na kila siku anapata minimum 50 rolls <laughs> Finally the body of James Kamau has been recovered 4 days after he was declared missing following a landslide that occurred in the village of Kamahindu in Kiambu County in light of this tragedy, the county administration is now calling on residents living in landslide-prone areas to relocate to safe areas. And when we came, we assessed the situation, and yesterday we did a plan of how we are going to work. And today in the morning, the work started. Uh, we had, uh, actually, also we had the Red Cross. And we were able to, uh, through that, multi agency, we were able to locate the body. <laughs> For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Buddy.